1619, English privateer ship the White Lion landed on the shores of Virginia with some 20 captives aboard. Men and women bought in Angola by the Portuguese and then seized by English pirates on their way across the ocean. Upon their arrival, they were exchanged for cattle. It began on a small scale. The slaves worked with Native Americans and Europeans on tobacco, cotton and rice plantations. But landowners soon saw more of this exploitable workforce. In 1661, a decree was passed banning interracial marriage. In the 18th century, hundreds of thousands of Africans were sent to what would one day become the United States. They parented millions of children, exploited as slaves, mainly in the south of the country. The Declaration of Independence of 1776 didn't free them from their shackles. Eight out of 12 of the first American presidents possessed slaves, even as the abolitionist movement was growing in the industrialized North and international trafficking was banned in 1808. In 1860, the election of Abraham Lincoln poured fuel on the fire. The southern states seceded and the Civil War began. After five years of fighting, the Confederates surrendered to the Unionists and the 13th Amendment of the Constitution forced an end to slavery. Then began a new era for the former slaves and their descendants, that of segregation.